welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Today's video is another thread up box. This thread up box is the athleisure box. Actually, the thread up boxes are called goodie boxes. So this is the athleisure goodie box. Let's go ahead and see what's in it. Okay, we have the list of what came in it, the price of it, and the retail price of it. There is a bag here that has the label to send back anything you don't want. And when you open it, your clothes are in here. And as a little side note, when you send things back, it would be wise to take the bottom of the box. It's very, see that? I could see how things would come out. So I take the bottom of the box when I send things back. Anyway. Okay, we have a light sheer it looks sheer blouse oh it is made by international concepts it is a size 2x and it is $32.99 retail $60 um oh it's got it's got sequins on the roses. I like that. I wouldn't call this athleisure wear, but... Next item. Looks like it's maybe new with tags. It's got a tag on it. Is a sleeveless shirt. It is made by... Ava and Viv, it is a size 2X, made in Vietnam. It is $19.99, and the retail is $25. I wouldn't call this athleisure wear either, but... Okay, now... Ooh, this is a heavy material. Another top. It's black and white. It is made by Talbot's Plus, size 2X. Has a tag on it, so. Oh, and it also has a price tag on it. So it is new with tags. Let's see what they say about this one. It is $27.99. And it says retail is $99. If you look at the tag, it says $99 and it was on sale for $69.99. Wouldn't call that one athleisure wear either. Next one is a dress. Black dress. It also has a tag on it, made by Pink Blush, a size 2X. It is $19.99, retail $48. And I guess this would be new with tags also. And I wouldn't call that athleisure wear either. Next one... which is the back, is a sweatshirt, and the back, or the front, I'm not sure which yet, has that on it. It is gray. Oh, okay, the tag, this is the back. It is by Zero Exposure, size extra, extra large. 
It is $30.99. Retail is $119. I like the back. This, I think, could count as leisure. F leisure. Next item is a pair of leggings. Is that what you call them? They are by Old Navy Active. They are a size extra large. They are $19.99 and the retail is $33. It looks like they're going to be um, between the ankle and the knee. That would qualify, I think, as athleisure. Next item. A pair of black leggings. They are by Comfy USA, size 1X, uh, $39.99, and the retail is $60. And on the legs, they have zippers. I like that. Next item is another sweatshirt. This is, I would say, orange. It is by Fresh Produce, a size 2X, $20.99, and the retail is $71. I like those two I like those two sweatshirts because they're not they don't look like the kind that you know really hug you I like them looser the next item is a pair of green pants they are made by Raffaella Comfort Size 16, they are $12.99 and the retail is $60. They have elastic kind, is it? Oh no, it's not, it's a little stretchy. So they have that on the side. Thought maybe they were adjustable, but no. Okay. And the last item is a pair of capris, capri jeans. They are made by I don't even know how to read that. Let me see what the paper says. Uh, NYDJ jeans. So they're made by NYDJ. I'll show you. That's why I didn't know how to read it. Very stretchy. Just at first glance, I would say they're way too big. But we'll see. All right, that's all 10 items. I am going to try them on, and let's see how they fit. Okay, here are the jeans with the Talbot shirt. Um, I'll show you the shirt first. Shirt fits, very comfortable, very, very stretchy. The top is stretchy. Fits well. I like it. The jeans, apparently, 
I was wrong. I have a bigger butt than I thought I did. I think they fit pretty good. Uh, the waist is a higher waist. My belly button is hard to find, but it's right here. The waist is stretchy. The pants are very stretchy. Pockets in the back. Pockets in the front. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. Okay, next outfit. Okay, we get the green pants and the rose shirt. Love the sparkles that are in the roses. It is sewn right here, so it comes over, and this is just kind of folded under sometimes. It is sheer. It is see-through. But other than that, I really like it. The pants... I think the pants fit really well. They do not have back pockets, do not have front pockets. And let's see, this is the one with the elastic strap there. I didn't think I'd like these because the material is, it feels like something my grandma would wear, but it doesn't feel like that on. But, they're too short. I don't know if these were supposed to be, you know, pants that go above the ankle or what, but they're too short on me. Otherwise, I really like these green pants. My belly button is right here. So that's okay, but yeah, they're too short. Okay, here is the leggings and the red shirt. Um, strange thing about the shirt. You see the hanging strap? One end is sewed over here, and one end is sewed over here. You can't tuck it in. Uh, maybe it goes to the back. I don't know. If I kept it, I'd cut it off for sure. Okay. It's got yep, ruffles down the side. It is very, very stretchy. Um, but again, to me, this is called a baby doll shirt, and I, I don't like baby doll shirts. They, I don't know, it just looks like I'm huge up here, even though I am, and pregnant down here. I think it's any shirts that have, you know, something up here that makes it look like that. Don't mind the ruffles. Don't like the baby doll style. Um, the leggings. These are the ones with the zipper on each side. They are very lightweight. Very lightweight. Uh, I... These are not something I would wear in public because they're so lightweight, I feel like I don't have anything on. 
Um, the belly button is right here. And I think they are rather short. But yeah, the material is so thin. It's not, it's, well, no, it's not see-through, but it's so thin that I would not be comfortable wearing it out in public. Next outfit. Okay, now the active leggings and the orange sweatshirt. sweatshirt. It doesn't go all the way, but yet it's not three-quarter length. I do like that it's loose down here. Um, maybe it's too big. I feel like a slob in it. I don't know. Definitely a no-go for this. I just I feel like Definitely something I could wear around the house, but I feel like I'm a slob in it. The uh, active wear pants. These are very comfortable. Don't really feel like they hold anything in, but they're very comfortable. My belly button is right here. I'm fine with the length because they're nice and tight. I mean, they're not tight, but because they look tight, I am fine with the length. So these aren't bad at all. Now let's see the other sweatshirt. Okay, here is the other sweatshirt. The nice cutout in the back. Sleeves, perfect length. I like the uh, cutout here. I like this one. It's very comfortable. It's gray. Oh, you know what? I need a gray shirt. I definitely might keep this one. Love the cutout. Not very often do I wear long sleeves. Might be a little bit more difficult to get them above the elbow, but I can always roll it up like that. I think it fits well. It's not too loose. It's not too tight, but it's not as loose as I usually wear things, which is what I'm trying to get out of. So, yeah, I just may keep this one. Okay, last item is the dress, um, I think it is a small 2X, although it's, you know, it's nice and clingy so it fits that way, it's tight, it's tight under the arms, and it kind of feels tight up here, maybe if I Hold it down something? I don't know. Pretty, you know, basic black dress. Nothing really special about it. I mean, it folds over here, and you can see the folds here, but... Uh, basic black dress. Not something I need or want. Okay, so that was it for my thread up goodie box this month, which was athleisure. Um, the sweatshirts and the athletic or uh, active wear leggings. Definitely remind me of athleisure. When I think of athleisure, I think of yoga class, exercise class, things like that. Um, I wouldn't wear this dress there. I wouldn't wear those tops there. 
So I would have expected more <sighs> active wear. Things you'd wear to yoga class. So this box really didn't hit the athleisure wear for me. But I did like some things in it. And I will keep trying their boxes. Not sure which one I'm going to get yet. I know they have switched some things up. So I'll have to go online and see which one I want to get. It seems like I got a lot of new with tags items. Although, it doesn't say on the list that they were new with tags, but they had tags on them. So I'm assuming they're new with tags. So it wasn't a fail because I did like some things, but it wasn't a win because it really did not seem like an athleisure box to me. Oh well. We'll try again. So if you like my videos, be sure and subscribe, hit the notification bell, give me a like, and leave me a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye!